we declare that Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, who pushed the $17 billion package of weapons to Israel that just passed the House, should be arrested for breaking U.S. laws and for his complicity in war crimes. Mm. Hakeem Jeffries is responsible for pushing that bill through, and we know that those weapons will be used to kill more people in Gaza. Mm. So we want to read some parts of a report by the Independent Task Force on the Application of the National Security Memorandum 20 that shows a pattern of unlawful attacks using an unconditioned supply of U.S. weapons. This report that came out is an, in anticipation of the State Department report that is supposed to be submitted to Congress by May 8th. So we want to just read a couple of the examples, and there are unfortunately hundreds of examples of the way civilians have been targeted and the way humanitarian aid has been blocked. Um, on October 9th, 2023, um, there was an IDF strike on the Jabalia refugee camp that destroyed several multi-story buildings, killing at least 39 people, for which the United Nations Office of the High Commissioner on Human Rights found no specific military objective and no reports of advanced warnings. The task force also identified multiple specific incidents of strikes on humanitarian assistance by the, by the IDF and other restrictions on humanitarian assistance which violates Section 6201 of the Foreign Assistance Act. In addition to blanket bans and attacks on humanitarian aid convoys, Israel's screening procedures for aid entering Gaza have imposed severe restrictions, including certain anesthetics, water for purification mm -hmm. tablets, maternity kits, mm -hmm. preventing them from entering Gaza, and Israel turned back entire truckloads of aid due to the inclusion of such goods. Some examples include... On February 2nd, 2024, an Israeli naval vessel fired upon a UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine refugees in the Near East Unwara convoy waiting to enter northern Gaza. Ooh. On March 24th, 2024, Israeli forces fired upon people waiting for the distribution of food at a site at Kuwait Roundabout. On April 1st, Israeli airstrike that killed seven World Central Kitchen aid workers in three separate airstrikes on vehicles bearing insignia on a street, quote, designated for the passage of humanitarian mm -hmm. aid. These are just a small number of the many, many, many incidents mm -hmm. that prove that U.S. weapons have been used in violation of international law and of U.S. law. It's just cruel teach my grade I've never seen and I could have never imagined we'd be capable of, <sighs> of inflicting on other people. Then we come into this place that's so cold day after day after day and it's normalized mm. here. But this is not normal and after seven months we should not, we should not be getting sensitized to it. Nothing about this is acceptable. Particularly disturbed by Congressman Jeffrey's attempt to put a veneer of humanitarianism on this horrible Israel appropriations bill. He made sure that the $9 billion of humanitarian aid was attached specifically to the Israel supplemental mm. appropriation. And that mm. humanitarian aid is what so many members of Congress are using to shield their complicity mm. in the genocide mm -hmm. in Gaza. Americans don't want your humanitarian aid wrapped up in this package. Yeah, no way. Actually, all they want is the freedom. They won't need any humanitarian aid. Mm. All of this can end mm. with one flip of the switch. The United States has to stop supporting the occupation.